What's up, y'all? Welcome to Twin Falls, Idaho. I am currently riding through the farmland on about a 10 mile road ride, heading towards what looks to be an epically steep trail down to an equally awesome swimming hole. Let's check it out. So I've made it to the top of the trail and as you can see, it's an incredible canyon. The Pillar Falls Trail was built for hikers and emergency access to the canyon. No one I talked to in Twin Falls thought it was a good idea or even possible to ride a bike down because of its steep inclines, hard pack covered in loose gravel, and technical sections where you even had to climb down cliffs. Obviously, I had to give it a go. I quickly realized that the best technique was to throw the back wheel around as if I was on skis, sliding back and forth, waiting for the tires to hook up on something. And then the view started to blow me away and it was hard to keep my eyes on the trail. There's no stopping on this hill. It's like skiing. At least this sand is a little bit here. I don't say that very often. like a forest fire happening here. It feels like I'm on another planet. The trail began to flatten out as I wove my way through a burnt out scree field and I began to congratulate myself thinking I had easily conquered the impossible trail. Let's just say, thank God I have disc brakes. No way. The trail went straight over a huge drop that had no landing, and I barely had time to slide to a stop. I then entered another world, ducking into a natural tunnel made of rocks and trees, my tires sliding through deep sand. Nothing was going to stop me now. All I had to do was sneak past this poison ivy. I had made it. Into the poison ivy den. <laughs> <laughs> At least there weren't any snakes in there. I made it down into the canyon and only had one little crash and it was a soft landing because there was a ton of poison ivy there. I'd say this is definitely worth it. Let's get in the water. As bad as I needed to swim, a mountain biker can never turn down an opportunity to ride slip rock. Wow. This section of the canyon was gorgeous, but like a kid in a candy store, I had to look around everywhere to find the perfect spot. Over the years, the Snake River has carved these rocks into Swiss cheese, creating perfect swimming holes everywhere you looked. But after riding around in the hot sun, I had to pick one.
water is the perfect temperature. It's crystal clear and I can't see the bottom of it. This is the best day ever. Bursting with gratitude for my discovery, I decided to keep exploring and see what else was around. So cool! This is what mountain biking is all about. It's not always getting big air and shredding epic trails. Sometimes it's just about getting out of the city, finding somewhere you've never been before, and soaking it in. The fact that I got here on two wheels makes it even more special. So I've settled down on my mat here to relax and watch the waterfall, but I've noticed that there's a storm, looks like it's rolling in. Uh, since I'm not from here, I don't know if it's just a dust storm or a rainstorm, but being in a canyon during a rainstorm is really dangerous. So let's keep our fingers crossed that it's not. The winds picked up and dust started whipping down through the canyon, and I couldn't breathe unless I put my shirt over my mouth. Better get out of this candy. This is crazy. As the storm picked up, I had to stop filming because it was everything I could do to get out of the canyon safely. Thank y'all so much for joining on this awesome adventure.